in the slum areas of Namongo, the biggest percentage of girls are married before they make 18 years. Girls are faced with so many challenges compared to boys. Too much poverty in homes has made it hard for them to get scholastic materials which they need to have in order to stay longer in schools. All children need to access quality education. However, we need to agree that girls of school going age are more vulnerable in Uganda. And a number of girls do not go to school during their menstruation period because they lack sanitary towels. Many are prone to early pregnancies and due to that, the rate of school dropout for girls is high compared to boys. If there is spare cash, it's the boy who benefits from an education. That's why Father's Heart Club has come up with the program, The Girl Child, to support girl child education through sports. In the slums of Naumongo, there are so many teenagers who don't go to school. Not because they don't want. Praise God, everyone. My name is Anina Sandra, and I'm glad to be part of Father's Heart Children's Choir. I lost my dad when I was a young girl during the war in, the no in northern Uganda. Currently, I stay with my mom. I'm in senior six, and this is my last class in high school. But I really need support for my tuition because it's really hard here. It's really hard in Uganda. It's very hard for parents to pay our tuition. But the ministry has tried its level best. We really need people who can support us, people who can stand with us, has the Father's Heart Children's Choir, and I'm part of those children who are in need of tuition. May you be blessed as you stand and support us. My name is Amko Shevo Justin. I am in Father's Heart Children's Choir. My father died when I, when I was still young, and I would like to, to sponsor me. My name is Ashen Dorin. I am 14 years old. I am a member of Father's Heart Soccer Team. I lost my father, stay with my mother at Namuongo. I would like to go back to school. I, I, I would like your support. My name is Katsime Faith. I'm 15 years old. I live in Namongo. I'm in Father Hattie's soccer team. I don't go back, I don't go to school, but I would like to go back to school. Would you sponsor me? Yeah. My name is Aumuza Bridget. I'm in Father's Heart Club. I come from Namongo slums. My father died when I'm still young. I stay with my mom, so I need a sponsor to support me. My name is Nafma Esther and I'm part of the Father's Heart Children's Square. I stay with my both parents, but I'm also in need of a sponsor. In case there is someone who is willing to sponsor me, you are welcome. My name is Fatina. I'm a member of Father's Heart Children's Square. I'm being taken care of and memory. I stay with my grandmother. Um, I completed my ordinary level of education and I would like to go back to school. Would you sponsor me? Just having lunch with the kids. We are actually believing God. We are having faith that God will provide. Every time these kids come here, at least we plan to have lunch together. It's the day when Jesus was crucified. What does the word crucifying mean? Take a 
He was nailed on the cross. So he died on the cross. So wherever Jesus went, he was always doing good. But some people hated him. Do you remember who God, God's great enemy is? Yeah. Who's that? What does Satan do like when he comes to soccer like this? What are some of the things? <laughs> You've heard the stories of some of these girls. Like I told you, we have a program called The Girl Child. We're trying to really support them through sports. I discovered a few girls and boys, especially girls who, are, who have dropped out of school. Reason being that they have they come from poor families, parents cannot afford tuition and scholastic materials. So in a team, I'm blessed to have, to be a blessing, I'm blessed to be, to have a, a lot of young girls and boys who love soccer. Many come from very uh, different places, but within the slums of Namuongo. It's that they have stories that are so touching and I'm requesting if there's anybody who would really want to support some of these children go back to school, we would be very, very grateful as a team. The encroachers on public land on which we rent we are given on July 4th, 2018 to leave so that the rail line can be reconstructed. And our landlord is a victim of this, so we really need your prayers and support. Buying a good house for ministry is a bit expensive. So we want to buy it 15 kilometers away from the city. So as fathers at Children's Choir, we ask you brothers and sisters to pray for us. Our prayer request is buying a plot of land or a house for ministry. Two, sponsoring children to go back to school. And thirdly, support our Pigar project and other businesses. Remember, our biggest undoing and urgent need is funds to buy a piece of land or plot where we can build our children's center because we are renting almost close to the rail line 